Now to our team from Brave Like Me. Like in the new logo here, we have had the privilege of sharing at least part of this story over the past year, but we want to bring back John Otten. Hello to you. Tell us who you are and what you do. Yeah, my name is John Otten. I am the uh, co-founder with my wife uh, of Brave Like Me. Um, we started this organization um, in a lot of pain when we lost our son, um, and we wanted to make sure that that organization did things that Braden would have loved to have done and did. So he loved doing zip lines and indoor rock climbing and he loved reading books and he loved his pets. And we came up with this incredible organization with a lot of great friends and colleagues and neighbors and have been doing incredible things. Thanks to a lot of things that even you have helped out with. Well, you know, um, we admire your courage. Uh, you know, the even the thought of losing a child, most of us can't comprehend. You brought some guests with you. Let's meet them, and then we'll talk a little bit more about Brayden. Hi, I'm Michelle Gunther, and I work at the Queen City Book Bank. And um, actually, when Brayden was a sixth grader, he held a book drive for us at, with his classmates at Wyoming Middle School. And uh, he loved books. And uh, it seemed like a natural way to honor him um, when we launched our curated book program that really matches books to the kids who read them. We thought there are lessons in these books that stay with us long after we've read the book. And uh, so we have picked a special selection of books, um, and they are part of Braden's books. Uh, we call it the Brave Like Me Library um, at the Queen City Book Bank. And his birthday is in March, and in celebration of that, um, that special month, we are having teachers in our program choose books uh, that teach those lessons that Braden taught us by the way he lived his life. So things about tenacity, resilience, hmm. courage, teamwork, and humor. Yeah. Interesting. I wondered how the whole book thing came about, so great to hear that. And you have been helpful in a number of ways. Tell us who you are and what you do. My name is Charlie Janion. I'm an architect uh, with a company called SHP. I'm also a, a neighbor of John, and my son, my middle son, uh, is a classmate of, of Braden. And so I've, I've gotten to know him through baseball and scouting, and uh, John reached out to me as a local designer and said we are interested in creating a mobile pet center that could uh, uh, be able to accommodate children who want to see their pets while they are staying in the hospital. And so we are working with the foundation to develop a, uh, a, a, a concept and hopefully we'll be executing it this year where uh, children will be able to have parents bring pets to a hospital and the, children, the, the kids in the hospital can come out and visit with those pets um, with medical professionals at the same time. Uh, and it's not such a sterile environment, it's a little more of a residential feel, uh, a little more comforting. Uh, John gave the analogy that, that a therapy dog is great, uh, but you don't get the real experience and feelings that you might feel with that you could see with having your own your own pet yeah so. so true yeah so we have some video and i believe it's brayden when he yeah. had a pet we want to roll that's video too you guys uh we want to roll that video because a lot of us don't know what was brayden's medical condition how did the pets help yeah. him just talk a little bit about that so brayden was born with a congenital heart defect and when we were in the hospital at cincinnati children's and cincinnati children's is one of the very few hospitals less than a handful of children's hospitals around the country have a dedicated family pet center where a pet can visit their kid in a safe and fun environment. And knowing how much this impacted Braden, it was, there was, he was in the hospital for 86 days. There was not a lot of good moments. This was an incredible moment. Yeah, yeah. So you guys, that next video where he's with the pet. So what I noticed you're doing then is you have, a, do you have an area that you're looking to actually design a pet area? Correct. We're working with Children's Hospital and uh, Nationwide Children's to be able to have a, a, a location where a trailer can be brought in, a mobile trailer. It can have the correct plug-ins and then there would be proper access where if they're in a bed or in a wheelchair where the, the kids could enter into the condition space uh, to have all the proper connections and then it would also be cleanable uh, and, and could be sterilized for it for the next uh, visit so uh, this is this is John's vision and, and hopefully we can find success and really roll this out uh, to multiple hospitals beyond Ohio it's actually a great idea to have that in there so I want to kind of I don't know who is the final word but what you need to do this is you need us to support you financially volunteering that kind of thing so how do we do that absolutely well we have lots of different options we have 
different programs around the year that are going on. We have a, an event that we're hosting in uh, with another establishment in Wyoming on March 2nd. Uh, we have a program that's going to kick off on March 3rd for our Brave Friends thing, which is another indoor uh, rock climbing event. And people can find out how to get their kids signed up for that if they have a com complex medical condition at our website, uh, which is bravelikemefoundation.org. And obviously, donations and sponsorships are going to help drive this uh, literally across the state of Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana, to all these children's hospitals that do not today have a mobile or a pet center and yeah. we can bring it to them. I'm so sorry that you had to learn this this way, but to see what you're doing is remarkable and we look forward to just sharing those things as you roll them out. Uh, God's got good blessings. Thank yeah. you.